My name is Jonathan, and it's really good to be here today. Uh, I named my talk The Big Blob, Collaborative Expression and Photos 20 Years From Now. Now, the main idea is to take a broad view of the evolution of photography and try to make some sense of where it's all heading. Now, my background is in architecture. That's why I decided to draw us a diagram to help us along the way. Now, the reason I was invited here is because I created a mobile photo app called Pic2. Before explaining to you what Pic2 is all about, let me tell you why we created it. So let's look at some history. So when we look at the invention of photography, it was very much about capturing a moment for posterity. You know, this chemical process of freezing reality and transferring it onto matter was something that was thought of as early as Aristotle and was always regarded as a magic way to replace our memory. So, and that's, that explains why so much of the history of photography has been referenced to through memory. So if we take a big jump to the middle of that line, we can think about the invention of the postcard as one of the, a significant turning point where humans started to use images as a way to interact with each other and send each other more context. So if we fast forward all the way until today, and we look at what's happening around mobile computing and the explosion of, mo of photo sharing, people have started to use photos as status updates, as check-ins, as steps in scavenger hunts, or even in photo memes like the one up on the right there that's called Batmaning. So taking a step back, people are using photos to interact with each other on, for different reasons on many different networks. So when we take this broad look about this axis, we can notice that photos have been moving from objects of memory more towards objects of interaction. And that's why we created Pic2. Basically, Pic2 is not only a photo app, but it's also a photo interaction network. So the basic pr premise on Pic2 is that anybody can upload a photo as a way to get photo responses, and anybody can respond to anybody else's photo with their photo. There's no text, there's no commenting, all the activity happens through the exchange of images. Um, so this is not one way broadcasting like Instagram, and that's why we call it photo interactions. So we've been around for around one year, and although we haven't sold to Facebook yet, we have a strong and growing community, and we have a lot coming out this summer. So Pic2 was very much about the present of photography, but what about the future? So we've been working on another product that deals with this question. So let's move towards the end of that line and realize what, what, what's happening here. When all this sharing and interaction is happening across all these networks, and what is more important even to realize is that we're at the very early stages of this mobile computing revolution. So the best way I like to explain this new reality is as follows. What this means is that 20 years from now, we're going to be able to look back at September 12th in 2012 in New York City at 3.30, whatever time it is right now, 3.45 in the afternoon in, for example, Battery Park City and see photos of what exactly was happening in that time and place. So what this implies is really as of last year, and although we're not there yet, we have virtually started to track every moment in every place across the globe. So that's pretty sci-fi. So around the office, I joke around with this phenomenon and call it the big blob of photos. But you can think about it more as what people talk about as big data. So once again, this is really being formed for many different reasons and across many different networks. But because of their own nature, it's important to realize that most of this content is open and public. So this makes this blob of photo a place of great resource and very useful information. We are right now building a tool that lets you leverage the value in this growing resource. So even though I can't talk too much about it, I want you to think about it as a kind of a lens. So if you are interested in learning more about it, you can follow me on Twitter, where I am putting out slowly some updates, and this product should be out closer to the end of the year. What I do want to leave you with is that we are very excited to be working on this opportunity, and we're especially excited to be right at the beginning of this new reality within the history of photos. My name is Jonathan, and I'd be happy to talk to you guys more about it. Thank you.